Good morning, Sagittarius. Good morning. So today I want to take a look at the energetic check-in. I am recording this the morning after the uh, solar eclipse in Aries. And so I do want to get a moonology for sure. See what's going on with that to start this out. Guys, this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any of your ninth house placements. Spirit, this is an energy check-in for Sagittarius. Guys, I also just want to uh, keep reminding you guys that we are doing the live giveaway drawing April the 27th. <clears throat> Excuse me. April the 27th. And um, I'm asking you guys to leave a comment on the videos or head over to the community board and um, vote on the poll for what is the best time for you all. Because it would be nice if you all were on the live. It does make confirming um, the winner easier. So the Moonology messages for Sagittarius this uh, this good day is nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, and luck is on your side, um, new moon in Sagittarius. So I definitely feel like that a situation that you feel like doomed by or that you feel like is a, a lose-lose situation for you, I feel like that that's more of a perspective. I don't feel like that it's really that because I do feel like that this uh, Sagittarius energy, almost a Jupiterian energy. <clears throat> The Sagittarian energy is on your side right now and it is working in your favor. And here at the bottom of the deck, we do have meditate and contemplate, which lets me know that it is a mindset that is um, shifting right now to let you guys, to show you just how favored you are is what I want to say. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius? This is just a little addition because we did go through that solar eclipse. And guys, I, I, I just, for those that are into the moon cycle, when we have a solar eclipse, typically a moon cycle is uh, from, it's about six months. It's from the, new, like we had a new moon in Aries. So this new moon in Aries goes all the way into the full moon in Aries. Um, but you can, you can manifest from a new moon to the very next um, full moon. You, that's a manifesting season. But really with the solar eclipse, it really does go for that six month span. So keep that in mind in all things that you're manifesting at this time and things that you're really clearing out of your life because an eclipse does remove something in order for uh, it eclipses something out of your life in order to give something else the spotlight. Okay. All right, spirit, what can be surrendered? What is being surrendered for Sagittarius under this eclipse? What is the surrender message for Sagittarius under this eclipse? Guys, I hope this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits. We got quite a few. We got four. It says surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. And then we also have surrender your attachment to the results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And then we have surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. And then we have surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Amen. Amen. And then surrender denial. So I definitely feel like there's some denial. I feel like that when someone in your in your community might even touch on this person, I do feel like that there could or this unhealthy situation. Uh, I feel like that there's a bit of defensiveness that uh, comes up. Uh, and, and, you know, it's really, honestly, even anything that doesn't come with ease is more than you can bear at this time, okay? So that's just that simple message. That's just, just a little something to keep in mind during the next six months for this eclipse. Luck is on your side. I do feel like that you have favor. Um, it is a matter of changing the perspective here. But Spirit, let's get to the energy check-in for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? Where is Sagittarius at at this moment, Spirit? What's going on? Thank you. 
So we have Master Manifester. Wow. So you are definitely stepping into your manifesting abilities. Um, or at least being called to. Wow. Surrender your attachment to results. And then we have Master Manifester. And then no expectation. And this really is saying, you know, like, once you... Like, let's just say I want to manifest in, let's just say, 1200 bucks. It's not a matter of going, I'm manifesting 100 bucks. Yes, what is faith without works? Absolutely. However, it's not about, I want 1200 bucks, so now let me go get 12 jobs. That's really, that's that's holding on to control of the situation. You know what I'm saying? That's not effortlessness. Now, I'm not saying that you can say, universe, I need 1200 bucks. And then sit back on the couch and relax and do not a thing. No, you have to stay in alignment with that 1200 bucks, which means that when somebody calls and they're like, hey, Kiana, I only got $20. I know your personal readings are 40. Can you look out for me? I don't know. I can't look out for you. I'm looking for 1200 bucks right now, baby. That's 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 holding on to that's holding on to the results. You have to surrender that result. If if someone is really trying to get in alignment with that um, manifestation, absolutely, I got you. Um, come on, you know. And then you get them together, and then who knows? Maybe the next person they overpay on their personal, or they tip really good, or that person two weeks later, right when you're at your deadline for your twelve hundred dollars, tips you a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's it's a matter of stuff like that. Uh, so definitely don't hold too tightly to an expectation at this time. A little happy feet. All right, Spirit. What's the what's the major arcana for Sagittarius under this energy check-in? The Haint Man. So I feel like that this is this is that energy of getting reacclimated. And it's like, yeah, reacclimated for sure with the hermit here. This is really saying, okay, I've because with the hermit, that's that that internal wisdom and guidance. And so this is saying, okay, I've I've been here for a minute. I've learned a few lessons. Now there's actually time to apply them. And 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 I feel like that naturally, honestly, if I could be honest, I feel like that naturally through applying the wisdom that you have acquired. Is going to naturally manifest things for you way faster than they have been in the past. Okay. What is the archetype that Sagittarius is currently standing in right now, Spirit? What is the archetype that Sagittarius is currently standing in? <clears throat> what is the archetype that Sagittarius is currently standing in, Spirit? Thank you. So we do have the King of Pentacles. Wow. Um, so some of you Sagittarius really could be manifesting money right now, or at least manifesting your stability, trying to get your, um, you know, this is that entrepreneur. This is that boss energy. And so I feel like that I definitely see Sagittarius getting grounded, getting restabilized, um, focusing on their stability on their home front. I like it, Sagittarius. What's at the bottom? The King of Swords. Wow. And I like this particular King of Swords, to be honest with you, because you see his sword is down, which lets me know that he's not really, because the, the King of Swords can sometimes get in this energy of my way or the highway. Now, his arms are crossed, which means that there's not a lot that he's willing to receive, but he's at least willing to listen. He's at least willing to hear something now. He's not so much in speaking, uh, controlling the conversation right now. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like that he's open to, to listen. But you better use your words wisely when speaking to this King of Swords because he's not really available to take a lot in. All right, Sag, I'm curious to see. Guys, if this message is resonating or you're just liking the style of this reading, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. Help circulate these messages out to other Sagittarians in need, guys. All right, Spirit, what's on Sagittarius's mind? What's what's going on in Sagittarius's world right now? Thank you, Spirit. Time for a nap. 
So this is, um, ooh, I'm telling you that effortlessness. And that was the actual card that hit the floor. The other three cards fell out in a clump. Um, and this is a seven card. So I, I, there's, there goes that perception again, right? That, that meditation and contemplating. Um, there's, there's something here that it's really, this is really saying, you know, I, I am an absolute uh, fangirl of a sofa resolution here on YouTube. And she has uh, recently referred to this new moon in Aries as, you know, not having to really do anything. She's saying that because it's at 29 degrees, I don't get this far into astrology. So this is purely what I have picked up from her. Um, at 29 degrees, it, um, it's really karmic and there's nothing for you to do. It's all about just rolling with it and making sure that your vibrations maintain a high state as things are clearing out so that you can get a fresh start or redo per se is what she called it. Um, so I, I do feel like that this is just really about going within, taking a chill pill and um, processing all of this wisdom and all of this good shit. Let's, I feel like it's kind of repeating. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see what's really going on, Sag. Let's see what's really going on. I do like that Sagittarius is showing up in the King of Pentacles energy um, today. That's wonderful. Uh, that really does mean that, you know, this is a Sagittarius that not much is going to get in the way of their stability and they're after they're chasing the not even chasing the bag they're attracting the bag today with master manifester what i tell you big dog we got the 10 of pentacles we have the knight of cups we have the chariot card the full card wow and the nine of swords <laughs> for the advice and the six of wands so I definitely feel like that Sagittarius is focused on their stability and not just stability in this moment, but like the the long term. I, I feel like that this is Sagittarius really trying to focus on the legacy, the long term stability. Now, the situation here with the Knight of Cups, I'm actually going to do just a little bit of clarifying on that. I'm going to take the Six of Wands. Because, oh, 66 could be very significant. You could be getting a, um, like a, a peace offering or just some type of, uh, gesture of, I love you today from someone from your childhood. This could be a Leo. This could be a Cancer. This could be an Aquarius. This could be someone that you share children with. Um, I definitely feel like it's a Leo. Look where I just laid it back to, uh, the Knight of, uh, the King of Wands. But, um, this this could be saying like you know what I'm saying like there is there's there's some type of overcoming some type of victory for something that took place in the past and like I said for a few people you could be getting some type of love gesture from someone with Leo highly aspected today um, but spirit can you please clarify this Knight of Cups for me because this while this can't stand for like a love offer coming in what I really am feeling for this is I feel like that this is saying that it's going to require you to you know that when we think about a hopeless romantic it means like you know no matter how much shit goes wrong in their life they still believe that love is just around the corner for them and so what the energy that i'm feeling from this knight of cups is that it's like no matter what's been going on still hold faith in what it is that you're trying to manifest whether this be a new starting your new business whether this be um a new romantic relationship whether this be a new a creative idea, whatever the case may be, is staying hopeful about it and not losing faith in it. Yeah, the ooh, page of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. So this is definitely something to do with work. And I feel like that there could be something else that uh, like I feel like that there's something that you desire to go after that you, you may need to learn some things like you like take on like some type of an apprenticeship to learn something, go to school, pick up a new trait for it. Um, but there is this sense of feeling like getting in the energetic space that if you can achieve it, if you, if it comes to your mind and you'd be like, Ooh, I wonder what that'd be like, or, Ooh, I would love to do that. Actually invest your time and your energy trying to um, really 
learn what it is that you need to learn to master that with the page of pentacles and the eight of pentacles coming over the knight of cups I, I, I wasn't really feeling romance with that but i am feeling like that um you got an idea that can stabilize you for generations to come let's see the yeah the challenge here is the chariot. It's like you don't know how to go about achieving your wish fulfillment. You don't know how to grasp it. Um, the, you know the the will of uh, the chariot, uh, the will of fortune. Hmm. That could uh, the not knowing how to grasp it. It could be that could be like a karmic lesson that you uh, are are learning right now about how to actually go out and obtain what it is you desire in an, in a righteous way in a high vibe way. But with the chariot being in the challenge position, that is like <clears throat> lack of direction, not knowing really how to obtain your wish fulfillment. It's like you want, you see it, you know that it would be wish fulfillment, but it's like, how do I go get it? And once I put in the effort to go get it, is that really what it's going to be? Or is this one of those, um, it's more glittery than it really, like it's fake gold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the five of swords, absolutely. And I think that that little last storyline that I just said really is it. Well, if I go to school to be an attorney, uh, it's going to be eight years. And then by the time I get out of, get out of attorney school, then it's, it, there ain't going to be no position for me. It's going to be a waste. I'm going to have to work my way up from the bottom. It's that type of self-talk that kind of walks you out of your sense of direction. Let's see. So what Sag isn't seen is the full card. What is this talking about, Spirit? The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Um, it, it, whatever this leap of faith that, like, when you take this leap of faith, you are going to, so whatever your intuition is telling you about, like, if you're, you know, like, I, you don't have enough resources or you feel like that you already have too much on your plate. I feel like that this is really saying um, by saying those things, you're discrediting you. Because when we take a leap of faith, it's about making sure that we ourselves are in a state of mind that no matter when I take that leap of faith, no matter where my footing lands, I know that I have the resources inside of me to handle wherever I land um, and and you know and you may have to end up working with you know what I'm saying you may have to collaborate with some people along the way and um, give me one more hey. I asked for one more because the Four of Wands was at the bottom of the deck and I got the Lovers card. So, you know, I do feel like that someone is going, someone right now in this current, with what you're not seeing, someone is weighing their options to take a leap towards you. Um, and if this isn't someone taking a leap towards you, then I do feel like that you are going to when you take this leap of faith in this direction for your career, you are going to have to collaborate with someone. And through this collaboration, I feel like that you could find a life partner. Like you could find a, yeah, temperance. Hmm. I don't know about the love of them. I see it. But the biggest picture here is, baby, this leap of faith that you can right have to take, Sedge. I don't feel like you got to take it right now. You'll know. You'll know with the tempers being here. But it's getting ready to get you to the Nine of Pentacles. That's independent stability. And, and it's like, as soon as you get that independent stability, things start moving fast. You, I said, I'm thinking to myself, well, what what they moving to? What's moving fast? What's they move fast to? The King of Pentacles. Real stability, your husband. Yeah. Okay, so why is the Nine of Swords here? 
for the advice from the universe for Sagittarius spirit. Why is the nine of swords here? Ooh. You can't overthink the growth, okay? Yeah, you can't overthink the growth. Because it's it's as if it's going to take a while for things to mature. The Empress did come out and that lets me know that there's at least, um, for me, when I see the Empress, I'm not going to lie, I do think of a nine month timing. Because um, it takes nine months to bring one of these little humans into this earth, honey. Um, and so I feel like that throughout the time that it takes to really uh, to see the actual growth of something, I feel like that you're going to isolate between oscillate between the shoulda coulda wouldas or what things you could have had in the past or you know well if I wouldn't have put my energy here I could have been there and this this then the third and so it keeps you from really seeing the beauty in this present in the leap that you did take and therefore you end up holding back Sagittarius Sag, I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a little minute for you to see something actually factualized in this leap of faith you being called to take. But on that journey, you do run in to a a counterpart that is like no other. That is like no other. So I'm going to leave that right there. You take that and do with it as you will. This is for you, Tamika. Let's see what the Cosmic Journey Oracle has for this message, Spirit. Be fear your fear monster. Absolutely. What you're scared of, you got to look here and more about effortlessness. Your effortless effort is fully required right now. So when you get when your fear arises and you overthink this right here with the nine of swords, it's like you begin to put in too much effort. And when you put in the effort, every time I think about this, I y'all got to go watch it. It's freaking hilarious i love it the night agent on netflix every time i think about this i think about that scene where his um his the his intel his person that's in prison has put him in a situation and he has to go and clean it up well while he's and he's cia while he's cia cleaning it up here she is trying to clean it up from prison with the bad guys and by her trying to clean it up with the bad guys from prison, she endangers the life of her CIA opera, like her CIA ass, like her protectors, because she's the asset. And so he almost gets killed in the process of him trying to clean up her mess. But she's also trying to clean up her mess, and her mess almost got him killed. That's what your fear is doing. Like if you don't befriend your fear monster, what the divine is trying to clean up for you, it's like you're gonna it's like you're gonna destroy the cleanup. Okay? So you got to allow things to just kind of flow right now and not really don't let don't let fear be the bully. You know what I'm saying? Take a little take a little mouth to end and show it that there ain't nothing to fear. It's in good hands. Archangel Michael, what's the message here for Sag? Thank you. Told you. I'm told you, Sag. It might not be easy. It might take some time. But if you just hold faith and hold steady, you are going to meet the person that you are going to spend The, I, I want to say the rest of your life, but I don't want to get too giddy. You're going to spend a nice... This person is going to 
go the long distance with you. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Wow, we have three cards. And it says, all is in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. Um, Archangel Michael will be here to help you every step of the way. And it says, open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal the situation. Your answers are being prayed. You're ready for more. Wow. Alrighty, Sag, I hope this message offered you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys. Oh, if you stuck around this far, I'm going to see who's returning in this Mercury retrograde next. So I'll see you in a few.